Welcome to the Grade 5 Science Class. Today, we're going to discuss the introduction of the different modes of reproduction in animals. Different ways of reproduction. This is the asexual reproduction and the sexual reproduction. The modes of reproduction are the egg laying and the born alive. A sexual reproduction, it only needs one parent to produce an offspring. The methods of reproduction are the binary fission and the budding. The binary fission, this method of reproduction happens only in small animals and marine animals like bacteria and sea animals. This is also called the splitting wherein the animal divides itself into two. Budding. Animals that produces budding like hydra, corals, and jellyfish. When an outgrowth of the parent animal produces a new animal. This is commonly in some invertebrate animals. Sexual reproduction, it takes two parents' animal to produce an offspring, like a chicken, dogs, and frogs. These animals have sex organs, the egg cells from the female animals, and the sperm cell from the male animals. The types of fertilization, one is the external fertilization. The frogs and the fishes are the example of the external fertilization, wherein the female animal releases eggs into the environment and the male animal releases sperm cells to fertilize the egg and the fertilized egg develops outside the parent body. Number two, the external fertilization. This has happened in animals like birds, insects, chicken, dogs, cats, cows, and other mammals. Take a look at the picture. This is an example of internal fertilization, wherein the male animal releases sperm cells inside the body of the female animal to fertilize the egg. And then the egg develops inside the female animal. And it is born alive or laying The modes of reproduction. One is the ovipary. In ovipary, the eggs is developed outside the body of the female animal. The eggs are covered by shell. The animals that undergo ovipary are called oviparous. These animals are also called the egg-lying animals like the birds, chicken, and reptiles. And the time period between the lying of egg and hatching of the young ones is called the incubation period. Number two, the bibipari wherein the fertilized egg is developed inside the female body. 
these animals are called viviparous animals or the born alive animals, wherein the female animals give birth to a young one. So the time from the fertilization and birth is called the gestation. Take a look at the picture. The female dog gives birth to a young animal or to a young dog, which is the puppy. Most mammals like humans, dogs, cats, cows, and other animals are called viviparous animals. Okay, for science trivia, gestation. This is the period from fertilization to birth. Take a look at the data. Elephant, it takes 645 days to give birth. Cow, 284 days. Human, 266 days. Monkey, 227 days. The lion, 108 days, cat and dog 63 days, and the rabbit 33 days. And for the incubation, this is the period from lying the egg to hatching once. The quail only takes 16 days, the pigeon 18 days, the chicken 21 days, that 36 days, ostrich 42 days, the reptiles like snakes and turtles takes 45 to 90 days.